How did the kid from your school die? Grade school. Rainy day. Bell rang and little girl panicked about being late ran out in front of a school bus. I saw it happen. I would literally be unable to sleep for months. He was playing football and randomly passed out. Never woke up again. Group of kids got skunked drunk and decided to take a ride down a notoriously winding road. One guy was standing in the back of the truck and fell out as they rounded one of the hairpin curves. Didn't make it. Testicular cancer at age 12. Really nice boy too. Suicide in the forest behind my garden. Grade 5. He was playing with his little brother when they found their dad's duty pistol. Little brother shot him right between the eyes. Can't imagine how the little brother feels. Was about 50 years ago. What item has degraded in quality in the past 10 years? A better question is, what hasn't degraded in quality in the past 10 years? $1. 50 Costco hot dogs. Edit. My best ever comment is about Costco hot dogs. My username has waited for this. Search results. Clothing. I used to be able to get something as simple as a nice t-shirt that would last me a very long time. Now, unless you pay $50 for a friggin' t-shirt, they're damn near transparent due to how thin they are. Shrink after the first wash and within a few months, they look like trash. Other clothing items are also trash unless you pay high dollar. Not much made like it used to be. What smells good but tastes bad? Shampoo. Candles. The bath bombs from this store called Lush or something. Legit thought it was an adult candy store before I figured out they were bath bombs. Emo coffee. Absolutely love the smell of it brewing. Cannot stand the taste. Unsweetened cocoa powder. I remember the first time I made chocolate crinkle cookies by myself, and the recipe called for unsweetened cocoa powder. It smelled so good, so I dipped my finger in water and then pressed some of the cocoa powder on it to try. It was a small amount but my word I instantly regretted it. Play dough. Freshly cut grass. Petrol, gas. Vanilla extract. The most disappointing thing that happened to me in the kitchen. A nose. Oh, dad. Who is the greatest one-hit wonder of all time? The unrelated Belgian techno anthem, Pump Up the Jam. Steal My Sunshine, by Len. No idea if they ever had another hit, or even a full album, but that song was everywhere once upon a time. That guy who sang, Somebody I Used to Know. Goatsy or something. Lou Bega. This dude released entire albums of Mambo songs, and only number five ever got heard. Tub Thumping by Chumbawamba. Jenny, Jenny, 867-5309, Tommy Tutone. Whoever wrote the happy birthday song. It was George Santos, S. Spirit in the Sky by Norman Greenbaum. I think it's Gautier if you are going off sales. Or Harvey Danger if you are going by what really matters, music I like. The Wonders. What do you think medieval people would have said during sex? It's actually recorded in a book written by a monk who was not so monkey. He writes. When a person does their God's commanded duty to multiply, they yell, Eeha, Eeha, this pleases the Lord. I guess the guy was a bit of a pervert, but there you have it. Leha was the village entertainment. An honest wench. Clean too by all accounts. Washed in the stream once a year. Nothing. Sex wasn't invented yet. Oh God, M coming. Tilda tilda, M coming tilda tilda, cometh. Is thou feeling it now, sire crabs? Hash, forsooth. Looks into camera it's good to be the king. Get thou ass upon the copyth device. You reek of shit. 